Last minute pardons from Kentucky Governor Steve Bashir. Good evening to you. I'm Sheree Poello. Mike Dardis has the night off. Right now, Bashir is entering his final hour after eight years in office. And before he goes, he's releasing dozens of convicted murderers and criminals in the Commonwealth, including one woman from a high profile case in Fort Thomas. WLWT News Wise Emily Wood is live tonight in our newsroom with a closer look at his last minute action as Governor Emily. Cherie, tonight in his final act as the governor of Kentucky, Steve Bashir issued full pardons to 197 people and commuted the sentences of six others. One of the pardons is for convicted killer Cheryl McCafferty. McCafferty was serving an 18-year prison sentence for shooting and killing her husband Bob in the couple's Fort Thomas home in June of 2007. McCafferty has always claimed it was self-defense. She was convicted of first-degree manslaughter and was denied parole for the first time in 2011. Her next chance for parole would have been next year, but that is no longer necessary. McCafferty is one of 10 women Bashir pardoned or commuted who had been convicted of killing their husbands or significant others after the women had been victims of domestic violence. In a statement tonight, Bashir said, I spent many long days wearing, weighing the merits and circumstances of individual cases before making my final decisions. The pardon authority afforded me by Section 77 of the Kentucky Constitution isn't something I take lightly. We are talking about action that impacts the lives of so many individuals. And tonight, Bashir also appointed his wife Jane to an unpaid position on the Kentucky Horse Park Commission. Just after midnight tonight, Republican Governor-elect Matt Bevin will be officially sworn in at a private ceremony. Cherie.